because he can swat away half the stuff that Falcon does. Yeah. But he also struggles a lot in it because he's better than it. So I was like, okay. No problem. But I play, I was playing against the Joker and I was like, oh, like I'm not scared. <laughs> I'm just gonna hit him down on the platform. <laughs> yeah, we're starting off this game one with a Mago and Skill hitting it off honestly pretty well. It's a Saturday evening. Honestly, they're having a nice little date here. But what, I'm, what matters is, is there can only be one winner. Yeah, oh. They have a cute little hat. Yeah. Matching with all these clothes. Honestly? Which all the time. Like. That sucks. Both these players, like. They could definitely win this. Like, I don't know. I don't remember if it was Imago or Resta saying that like they've played before in bracket and it was like one one. But I think that Imago and Skill played earlier today. All Bastion's just FD with a platform, right? Yeah. And not exactly like exactly the same blast sense, yes. And not like Smash Bros at all. No. Okay, cool. Because then, then with that being said, he actually almost did it, and then. Oof. But then in that case, I like this over Smash Bros as a starter. For both these characters specifically, because it's not as big as like let's say a town right. or a PS2, but it's congested just enough to where both of them can thrive in very different patterns. Ooh, this is really good landing back here coming out of Yeah. Uh, what I'm thinking is gonna come here is like skills just kind of like. He did that so. I remember now. He, they like they played absolutely because I remember Imago lost a lot of his uh, a lot of his percent due to him just swinging on the platform after skill kept on uh, what's it called like just backing off the platform. He conditioned him to be able to mash there, and then like from there he kind of just like took control because like he conditioned him so well. And then the third or the last game he was like, all right, I'm gonna start swinging. Um, I'm not entirely sure. It's it's kind of hard because I like Imago clearly sees the bounce like all, all the time, and then he still up throws and it pressures him so much. Like you don't have to do that. Just do down throw. It's just you might not get your conversion so well. He's dirty. <laughs> Either way, uh, we have like. Skill's definitely taken pretty good control of this game. Like, he, he's done a lot to just put Imago in a really uncomfortable spot. Yeah, Imago keeps going for those. He He's he's being too antsy with it. He's not waiting. There's a clear time where you can do that. And he's always doing things like that. Yeah, it's like, I think he's just not comfortable enough, like, falling down low, just slow falling, and then coming back up with a rising fair. Like that's all. Just learn ledge slip. Once they once they go down to the area where you know they're gonna up be, just ledge slip down as they're up being, and then jump fair. You'll hit them every time. Yeah. And again, like this isn't like uh, it, the the main reason why people miss that edge guard is just because it's scary. It has nothing to do with how hard it is. It's just because it's scary. Yeah. And if you're not comfortable with that, then two things. I mean, Falco has pretty good two frame potential. Yo, KK Condor? That's not the one that must be I don't think I do want to see uh, Imago just do more. Is standing at uh, roll distance while on, uh, on ledge. Uh huh. Because, he, like, he, every single time he's right on top of them, and then as he's retreating, the skill just gets off. Yeah. Absolutely. Um. Yeah, like skills. Oh, this is that's a stock. It. That's it. Yeah. That's unfortunate. That's yeah. It. That's just that's just uh get out skilled, dude. Ooh. Ooh, right now honestly, it's kinda looking like the skill difference. You know what's really funny too? Mm -hmm. This used to be the uh the Nolan matchup before Stevie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you had to know how these things work. Ooh. Yeah, he's just chilling, dude. Yeah, Skill's looking really, really good on this rematch, too. He's feeling confident. He's moving, he's working it. Oh, he lost his zoom, too. But either way, it doesn't matter. I do like that he at least sat on that. Yeah. Like he, he's, he's now trying to do other things other than just, like, falling. Woo! So close. <gasps> oh, no way. No. No. 
Couldn't he have killed with that? Um, maybe. Because that four to either was a big missing pull or just BM. Yeah, I have no clue, honestly. Man, this is looking a little bit rough already, man. We're barely in one game, man. Ooh. First game was pretty close, too. That up air extension was so good, too. Oh, what? They traded! Oh, that was so weird. Real close undercuts! Dude, he's. Spot dodge. He's getting schmixed hard. He's getting schmixed so hard. And I don't, and these aren't even like that deep of a schmix up. So they're just kind oh, of. By the way, Ernie, that was game two. And Skill Skillium, Skillium has both. Yeah, there you go. Two for Skill! <laughs> <laughs> They've been fast games, dude. This is crazy, losers finally. Mago's looking a little lost. Diddy! Oh, calling out the Diddy Kong. You see it. I didn't lose Mako because I kind of think that this goes to I think this is a good matchup for Mako. Uh, maybe. I can imagine it. Just because Falco does an amazing job of uh, shutting down the mana. Right. Putting pressure as well as um, as well as the laser just does a good job. Uh, Anti-airing is stupid easy. Ledge guarding is stupid easy. Uh, but also at the same time, Diddy can also reverse ledge guarding. Right. Ooh, he's dead from that. That was from beyond center stage. Like that was literally. That was kind of goofy. That was gross. Oh, this is, this is actually. He kicked. He kicked. No. <laughs> Bro, something got me thinking. This is a day one, Diddy. I'm like, oh, okay, maybe a little bit. Okay, maybe he's got a little bit. No, no, no. He, he, he's smoothly, smoothly, and he missed it. That's fine. That's. He just barely missed it. Uh, this time, that's okay. Not big deal. Banana, I like it. There you go. Let's do this up. I mean, that was just basic diddy play. Yo, kick a kill in it tonight, dude. Wah, 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 wah. In the wrong song. I know. <laughs> I can't hear the music. Well, then how'd you know? I just kind of assumed it wasn't that song. <laughs> Ooh, dude, honestly, I hope that skill switch back to Dragon Quest after this round. Yeah, yeah. Like, this isn't looking that good. I mean, he doesn't have to. You could keep the Diddy for another match. Well, I mean, if you're serious about winning, I think you just, just shut it out instead of playing with this food. One, it's a little bit. I mean, like, I get you need to learn. If you want to learn your character, you have to put them on bracket. But this part in bracket, that's kind of mean. Ooh. Dante. Dude, I hate the fact that Danto kills. It's so stupid. Like, why does that tiny move where he just kicks you at the, at the shins just blast you to the top blast? Man? Okay. This is, this, is like, this is way close. Yeah, this is very, very close. Skill did this uh, last set they played, too. Oh! Ooh. Hands, Hands off, off my... my Dude, I would love it if Imago hit someone, even if it was me, with the hands off my cock. That'd be amazing. That'd be amazing. I'm all for it. Yeah, Imago, if you ever rewatch this, you never know. Yeah, you never know. Like, I would find that amazing. Oh, obviously, I don't expect you to do it. Because if I did, then I wouldn't get hit by it. <laughs> <laughs> the petition is set. Wait, what? Oh, he's also busting out his secondary. I mean, Imago started with Inkling before he gave up on Inkling. Yeah, I remember. One of the first people I fought in Bracket was actually Imago, and it was his Inkling. Oh, this is such a good song. Oh my goodness. Oh, and he's already getting hard schmix. Every single time he's trying to Nair out of it, and it's not working because Nair isn't that great. It's a weird hitbox overall. This is also, like, I'm interested to see the differences in the, uh, in the play styles. From uh, from Dancer versus uh, Yvonne. Um Oh, also maybe he saw the set. <laughs> uh, they had him pick Small Battlefield to see if he could cheese out, cheese it out on Small Battlefield just to make him upset. That's yeah. kind of funny. But uh, yeah, I think overall what we're immediately already seeing is that Imago's playing a lot more aggressive yeah, compared to our that. other Inklings who just play very wally and look slow. He he's getting in there and he's boxing. And Inkling does have a pretty decent boxing game. As True. 
uh, and bait and, and bait game. And you can play this very aggressive and very defensively. Most people tend to choose defensive because it's a lot safer. And it, honestly, it's better. But playing an aggressive inkling can go a long way as well. That should, that should kill, right? No. What? Did he suck, dude? <laughs> dude, Diddy's struggling to kill. He's crazy. Diddy always struggles to kill in this game. Yeah, I know, but like that's kind of why Banana is like, so important in this toolkit, and I feel like he hasn't hit anything with Banana. Oh, he tried so hard for that. No. Don't get hit by the panic down smash. That's the worst one to get hit by. We, we haven't really been seeing too much like use of the banana. They, they mainly just been boxing it out hardcore. Um, honestly, I haven't seen much of a combat for either of them. They're just kind of hitting buttons and hoping God that it works. Yeah, funny thing too. Um, I think we actually kind of see a lot of the same playstyle things from Dancer and Imago, even though they play a little bit different. They'll both get a hit and then kind of just like run away. Yeah, that that is true. I I think that's a character fundamental thing. You kind of have to do that. Like, just take a hit and leave before you just get absolutely punished for it. Definitely. You're not you're not that heavy of a character, and so you can't really trade. You want to just bait. Ooh. I think um, the difference as well is when a Mago moves. A Mago moves a lot quicker and his decision making is a lot faster, rather than Banter and Nifty Kazente. Uh -huh. who, their game plan is very set in stone, and that's all they will do. This be like I per I personally feel that Mago feels a lot more fluid. Yeah. Less game planning and a lot more just like focused on the changing of the neutral. Yeah, absolutely. Mago is just like. It feels like he's just playing the character, you know, versus like playing a playstyle. This this just feels like this Ooh, is what really in my this is what like inkling advantage looks like. This is what a lot of inkling neutral looks like without like going the super defensive route. That's not to say there's any like superior playstyle between the two at all. It's just like this is this is kind of shows what a completely different inkling can look like, and it looks really cool. Yeah, honestly, th I wouldn't mind playing against this inkling. Yeah. The other two inklings, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, why? <laughs> well, I'm I telling you, just camp out. that platform. It works so good. Yeah, yeah, I'm so right, sir. Absolutely right, sir. I mean, like, Imago's doing a really good job, and I haven't really seen Imago struggle too much for the kills. But one of the reasons why is I think he's doing a really good job of just not really using. Um, side B as a crutch, uh, not necessarily crutch, but like he's not using it a lot. So when it does come out, it's a it's a hundred percent true mix up. Right. Rather than just like, okay, we're in this weird position. I'm gonna throw it because it probably will work. He's just like, all right, now I get to throw a roller because it's a genuine mix up, and I they haven't seen it in a while. I conditioned him to not think about it for like ten seconds. Here's one thing too: it's like Imago was doing really really good, but skills kind of just like Clawing keeping back. him at the corner. Uh, Imago's really, really struggling there. Yeah, also, Imago doesn't have any aim, so this, this is definitely becoming a problem. He's having a hard time just doing anything. He can't yeah, if he gets hit by that banana on a strong hit, then it's dead. Like, okay, thankfully, he did not actually get the strong hit or anything. He just lets the up smash rip. Definitely not going to kill. Not even close. Yeah. That move doesn't kill to like, another, like, 30%. Ooh, no, he runs past him after oh, getting the strong hit. This guy is... is very very good coming out from Imago. That was very good like play with the banana after he was able to grab it and sadly like when skill did get his hit, he flubbed it. That was that was a very desperate side B too. Mm -hmm. It like it, there was kind of no reason to do it. He could have just gone to the ledge and just slowly clawed his way back. Uh, but instead he wanted to just immediately yeah. get back into range. And then they both Ooh. He's sticking to the inkling. I like that. Honestly, I think that's cool. I don't think that this is smart by any means. I just think it's cool. Also, this shows the skills definitely in it to win it, which I can also very much so respect. Like, either way, like, much respect uh, to both these players. I know that Imago is very much so trying to win it too. He's, he, he sees power in this inkling. Go for it. I just want to point out that while it bounces up, he cannot jab. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah, because his, his jab goes into projectile. Oh, you said jab. I think you said grab. 
Yeah, dude, my bad. Uh, but so far, he's doing work. As long as bounce doesn't come up as often as skill would like. Um, oh, you, there you um, go. This, this is a very... It's dead. Uh, oh, he messed up. Stack. This is a very close... This, there's a potential. There's potential. Okay, Ooh. I think we're seeing a lot of this bait, yeah. this bait play now. A lot more. But more so, instead of just holding one side of the stage, it's like flowing through the stage. Mm -hmm. um, and Skill kind of doesn't you know, what to do about it. Skill seems like he's a bit lost. Because oftentimes he's the one that's just doing the bait and uh, and getting the reward off of it. But it's not working. Oh yeah, get out of there. <laughs> turn <laughs> turn that chip around. He could have just up smashed. Who? Uh, Dragon still, Quest? Kill him? Yeah. yeah. The moment it hits your shield, you can react to that. Yeah, absolutely. No doubt about it. Well, I like those little wave lands that Imago incorporates. Just kind of puts you out of that bad situation with Inkling after doing the jump cancel out of your side B. I think that's just a really smart little optimization that can help you. I was literally just about to point out that back throw is stale, which is one of Inkling's control options. I think they're getting a more of that. But it's back to the moment. Ooh. It's a little scary. Absolutely. Um. Man, I do really want to see. I think one thing that really could make this is just the edge guarding scenario. Wow, he went right to the ledge. I've never seen Hero go that far. Yeah, the, I always thought there's only like four positions to go. To go he got another one, dude. This RNG is crazy. Which is insane. Did he just talk? Oh, no, he, he got. No, 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 no. You better get that. Oh, he did the bomb instead. I respect it. He was too high up to really threaten anything. And he played that. He played that poorly. He played his hand too quickly. Oh, he tried to two frame with the frame with the flame slash. Dude, he's at two hundred and twenty percent. Yeah. The life of an inkling. Wow. Doesn't up throw eventually kill? I think up throw kills soon. Should kill rather. Yeah, it should. But does it? <laughs> a lot of it. A lot of it. Yeah. There we go. Alrighty, what's honestly, gonna matter here? Go ahead. Honestly, this isn't that big of a deficit. No, definitely not. Uh, Inklings are absolutely capable of just racking on the damage, but is this one? That's, that's a dead. Right. Yep. He, he keeps throwing projectiles when he's bouncing. Yeah, there's no point in doing that. It, <laughs> yeah. does, it does not do you any good. He's just putting himself at disadvantage. Oh. Ooh, no. the jump. If he did not jump, I think he would have got him. Honestly, yeah. He's also not trapping. I feel like he, he should start trying to really trap a lot more. Yeah. If you're not going to like full commit for the edge card, definitely just try to like ledge trap them way more. I think that's going to do a significant amount here, especially against skill. Oh, he has fireball. He has a new deal. Oh, good down tilt. Nice. Nice nair. Wait for the uppie. Jump down. Okay. okay. But you no, SD'd. He, I think he had his jump. 